Do, 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 do. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some more Planet Coaster. Still working on Seatopia. Got a fun little opening of the park right here. I closed the park down just because I want to see what it looked like when everybody left and kind of just reevaluate what was the busy part of the park. So I wanted to check that out and thought I'd film the opening. So this is pretty cool seeing everyone kind of sprawl in there. And all the coasters fly by. They seem to be favoring the left side a lot. That's probably because the log flume and the other transfer rides over there are really drawing the crowds over. I went ahead and took the uh, balloon stand. That thing is super popular. Like, it's kind of busted how popular it is. And I put it over by the uh, Hanzo and Genji coasters. And that seems to be drawing some people over there. So maybe that'll help bring people over to that side. Uh, today we're working on something new. We're going to finish it up in the next episode. It's kind of like a two-parter here. Should be able to finish in the next episode. Yeah, definitely will, because we got most of it done today. Uh, it's going to be kind of like a jungly, ancient civilization-y themed coaster area. Kind of inspired by things like uh, the Indiana Jones Adventure Ride in Disneyland. I did look at some reference pictures of that just kind of get the idea. But I basically uh, wanted to make one large structure to kind of house uh, the coaster bay. And just kind of theme it all nice and fun. Uh, kind of similar to, if you guys remember the original Seatopia, I had a very large pyramid made out of these sandstone type blocks. Uh, it wasn't quite as detailed and stuff, it was basically just a big pyramid, then I chucked a bunch of trees and roller coaster entirely on the inside. This I wanted it to just house the queue and the uh, coaster bay itself. Just go, trying to do a little bit of detail work on here. I like to work with triangles on the structure, so I probably will implement more on the inside as we go along, but I was just kind of messing around, just taking the sandstone pieces, trying to make some cool textures and stuff, making it up as I go. I like the idea of putting some of these statues or gargoyles or something up on top of it, but the, none of them really fit. I don't really like the look of any of them. They're all very medieval, so we decided to go with the skulls instead. I thought those would fit a little bit better here. And then adding some vines and creepy stuff all over the place. Look at it go. And then we're just basically going to take this and copy it four times to make a perfect square. To house everything in and the roof we're just gonna do like a nice flat roof nothing too crazy we'll do the roof later because I do want to fill in the inside a little bit I did want to go with a little bit more detail stuff on the inside which we did end up doing this episode I'm pretty happy with how it came out now, if you guys like it too make sure you hit that like button leave a comment leave something letting me know also need suggestions for ride names on this and just for rides in themed areas in future in, in the future in general things you want to see me try and build always open to suggestions as long as they're good suggestions not just like Build a coaster with the space theme. Like, try and get a little bit more detail. That's what I'm looking for. Try and make, like, a story behind it. I don't know why, but that's what I'm demanding. I mean, my incessant demands. Ah, I'm shaking my fist right now. Ah, you can't see. <laughs> yeah, someone asked me why I don't use face cam in Planet Coaster. I'm like, well, it would just be me sitting here, staring at a screen and talking. And just ranting and monologuing, so... I don't really think it'd be super interesting, so now we're not going to put it in Planet Coaster anytime soon. At least not the uh, post-recordings or post-commentary. Whatever, I decided to go with the, is this the Giga Invincible Coaster? So I think this is a relatively new one. don't quite remember the ad of this. I don't think it was the holiday update. Was it? I don't think so, but it's a pretty fun coaster. Real fast coaster. Can only partially invert, so again, we're not going to have any inversions now. Uh, maybe the next coaster we'll build will be nice and inverted because people have been saying, hey, we need more inversions, more inversions. I'm like, oh, I'm getting to it. Uh, so the basic plan is to have this main structure here. We're going to have a nice queue area going straight uh, on in. Uh, and then the whole outside we're going to do a lot of jungle stuff. Try and make it all jungly and real dense forest and vegetation. Hopefully uh, the game doesn't freak out too much by having all the trees. Uh, something I've seen people suggesting in like the Planet Coaster subreddit on the forums and stuff is what would be handy is like a tree brush because placing trees one by one, especially when you're doing a lot of them, can be kind of annoying. So a tree brush would definitely be cool. I've seen things like that in the past, like it's like in city building games, things like that. So I'd enjoy that. Uh, we got our cable lift going up there, and then one big drop uh, curve to the right, and then we're going to kind of do like a figure eight thing, similar to what we did on the previous coaster. And for some reason, I didn't extend the cable lift far enough. So the cable lift is a little weird because it, it lifts by the front of the train rather than the chain lift that lifts the entire train. Uh, for some reason, I could not... You'll see me try later. I could not get the second car to work on this. For some reason, the cable lift wasn't pulling the second car up. So I'm not entirely sure why I was doing that. If you guys... If, you're, if you know, definitely let me know. You'll see later in the video when I attempt it. You'll Maybe you'll get an idea of why that's happening. 
a nice little figure eight there. Not really quite a figure eight, I mean it's two separate curves, but whatever. Over there, and then we have this, uh, it's kind of like an almost inverted loop, not quite. It's partial inversion loop. I forgot exactly what it's called. Was that figure eight loop? I don't think that was right. Oh well. Uh, just have a dive underground there a little bit. I'm gonna do some stuff underground and stuff as well. Today we get most of the structure done and then the inside queue, uh, the exit queue, and then the outside, and then these tunnels and stuff I'm gonna finish up in the next episode. There goes the cart, flying off like crazy. Look at it go, just trying to smooth out this drop a little bit because it was a little bit wonky. Smoothing it all out, there we go. Trying to make it nice and pretty and smooth. Smooth. Smoothing, 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 all day I'll do smooth, there we go, <laughs> alright, I was trying to figure out exactly where I wanted to go here, I decided a nice uh, hill, we barely can make it over the crest if it would be good there, just measuring to see how far it's actually going to go, and there goes the coaster falling back down, it actually made it back over that loop I think, that's pretty crazy, I had enough speed from that, that's pretty cool. Going it so it can just barely go over the top of that. That's the, that's the plan there, the scheme. And then I said to have like a kickback turn or banana turn. What are the hell these things are called? There's a couple of them. They got different names. Very confusing. So there we go. Speeding through here to make sure everything's relatively smooth. And checking the speed of the coaster. Make sure, make sure, <laughs> making sure it can do all the way around there. See, sometimes I just say r things wrong. Make sure, what does that even mean? I, I know that's not a word, like I'm not an idiot, and yet I still say it. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, I accidentally clicked autocomplete there. Not really gonna work since there's not a really clear path over to it. You silly game. And a couple little bunny hills here. Just to go woo! And woo! And give you that little feeling in your little tummy. Little tummy belly. If you know what I mean. Picking up what I'm laying down. You smell what I'm stepping in. Can't put that there because the stupid bush is in the way or the wall vine thing we go try to add a blocking station there and then decide to have a nice turn here and then have that just complete back over to the end and there we go coaster done I think this one's came up pretty nice looking one of my better coasters I think in terms of just uh, difference <laughs> different turns different elements because a lot of my coasters are kind of boring because it's just like one big right turn but I think this one had a nice variation in turns and speed so I like this one. Not quite a traditional layout. See, look, okay, I can't get the second coaster to go up it. Or the second coaster car. I don't know what's going on. Like, I even tried removing the blocking section before the chain lift, and it still wasn't working. Well, not even chain lift, it's a cable lift. Look, it won't go. I don't know why it's not going, and then the other coaster's trying to bump it. <laughs> I could not figure out why I was doing that. I was like, okay, this is all right looking. Maybe I need to bring the cable lift down further. Maybe have the other piece be a cable lift piece? I don't know. It was weird. So I went and even took out that blocking section. And it still it's, it still went like it shouldn't go like that. I don't know why it's doing that. It's very odd. So I said, okay, you know, for now we're just going to take it down to one car. So that way the coaster can actually function. And this coaster is actually relatively popular with the uh, the park goers. The planet coasterians, whatever the hell their names are. Is that too fast? Not too crazy? It's just right. Hopefully they'll enjoy it. Give me all their money. Even though I'm not using money, I'm using sandbox mode, so it doesn't really matter. And more people asking why I'm not doing the priority queues. Uh, I think they're ugly and pointless. Like, <laughs> they're dumb looking and they don't really do anything for me because I'm not trying to make any money here. So I decided just to stop doing them because I prefer just the nice linear look of the single queues. I think they'll look remarkably better. Trying to figure out the path here for the, uh, the, the the entrance queue. Trying to see if I wanted to kind of have it go out through this big room, or I wanted to just go down the middle because I wanted this to be like a real grand hallway, kind of like the sacrifice, the sacrificial room. Not really though. Well, we could do like a sacrificial room zone right here. That might be cool. Maybe have a separate structure that the coaster goes through. That might be cool. I was a little disappointed with uh, some of the previous coasters and detail work we did on the actual tracks. Especially the racing uh, Hanzo and Genji coasters, so uh, yeah, we'll probably do a little bit more with this one. I'm very happy. So my goal for 2017, one of my goals, I decided randomly. I don't know. It sounded like fun. I want to try and get a play of the game as every character in Overwatch. So there's 23 characters in Overwatch, and a play of the game is just like a little highlight after the uh, round of like one of the best plays of the game picks. 
And so I'm gonna try and do that. I was really happy on my second attempt as Genji, because I'm starting from left to right, so the first character on the screen is Genji. So start with him, a character I don't play much. He's probably one of my least played characters, uh, but I got to play the game as him on my second attempt. I was pretty happy. I was actually pretty shocked. I, I was kind of mad because the play wasn't that good. It was just like two kills, and I had a much better play earlier where I actually deflected a McCree alt. So I was kind of mad about that. Like, it's actually a really bad play, but I counted it. So I'm gonna go with it. So now I'm working on my McCree. Uh, it goes Genji McCree, Farah, uh, Reaper Soldier 76 Sombra. I think that's the order of the DPS characters. And then it goes over to defensive characters, right? So it's like Bastion, Widowmaker, Hanzo, Torbjorn. So can I just name them all? No, I'm gonna stop because I'm boring the people that don't care about Overwatch. <laughs> all right. Uh, working on the entrance chamber now. Did some cool pillars up on the center, or uh, kind of going past the uh, the pathway there, kind of on either side. Nice symmetry, and then added some skulls and fire and spookiness because it's supposed to be like old, abandoned, and derelict kind of civilization. Added some spooky orange lights, spoopy orange lights to the bottom of those, kind of make these skulls glow a little bit. And then I added on some bushes all throughout there. So we're gonna add it. A uh, bunch of bushes in there, make it all nice and overgrown on the inside. Over here, adding some wooden pillars. There's some wooden, uh, those aren't pillars. Pillars go up and down. These are left to right. Wooden. What's mm. the word I'm thinking of? Oh my god. Oh my god, what is the word? Total brain fart. Oh my god. What is this? This is gonna drive me crazy, guys. Oh, sweet zombie Jesus. What the hell? I hate when this happens. It literally stops my brain from thinking and like, ah, it like gives me a headache when I can't think of a word. Supports? Okay, we're just gonna go with supports from that's not the word I was thinking of. Good God. I'm gonna think of that as soon as I'm recording. But anyway, we need to move on. Added a whole bunch of bushes in here. Wanted to make it really dense and overgrown. I uh, didn't want to put any actual trees in here. Maybe some palm trees and stuff would look nice in there. Or like the palm bushes. Or banana trees or something like that, but definitely don't want any large trees. Doing a whole bunch of vines on the inside here. Kind of spreading those out throughout. And that side of this looks really cool at night. I love how it looks in there. At the night time. The night time is the night time. Boom, do, da, do, 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 da, do, 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 da, do, do. Sorry, I just really like this song. It's from the Planet Coaster soundtrack. This one is, what song is this? This is, da, 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 with friendship and peace. These songs have some weird names, like Sink Cat, and <laughs> You, Me, and Gravity. I do like that name, that's, that's nice. Breakfast of Champions. Heisenberg's Entryway to the Matrix Mechanics. Hmm. Interesting. I like them, though. Some nice, nice songs in the Planet Coaster soundtrack. Uh, covering up the roof there, I wanted to make that its own separate building. This side, we could do some cool hallways on the uh, beginning and end of this coaster. Just using these cool arch pieces. Yeah, I thought that was kind of nice. And some walls. That might be a little bit too high. I might replace those with like the half high uh, walls. Just because that seems a little bit too high. Or maybe we can put some on the inside. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for the roof there. I mean, it would be nice to have a slanted roof, but none of them look good, so I decided just to use this. That'll work. I'll, that'll be just fine. And I know that other wall's on a different plane, but whatever. It, it's fine. It looks, it looks okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. One thing, my coasters are, it's not perfect. <laughs> or I guess my buildings, rather. And coasters. And everything in general. Hooray for mediocrity. And in the walls there, and the floors. And then decided to move in this wall here. Have that just along the coaster station. And there you go. Yeah. This one came out pretty nice looking. It'll look a lot better once we actually get all the foliage and stuff in and make it look like a jungle kind of surrounding it make it all a little bit more mysterious do want to do some terrain stuff also with the coaster don't want to keep the terrain perfectly flat definitely add some hills and stuff all throughout maybe a big old mountain or something who knows 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 nyah, nyah, nyah. Nyah, nyah, nyah. for some reason that wall didn't want to fill in there stupid wall yeah that's a good start definitely be able to finish this up in the next episode Adding some cool little arches over here, just kind of as a coaster passes through these. I, do, I like doing stuff like this. There's definitely things I need to do more is implement some of the theming and stuff to the actual coaster rather than just having the coaster fly on by. I think that'll be good. Getting to ride the coaster now. 
Well, we'll probably ride it again at the end of the next episode because we will actually have the area finished. Well, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Planet Coaster. If you did, make sure you hit that like, leave a comment, leave something, let me know. I will see you next time. Bye.